Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Before we start our lesson, we will begin with reciting surah. The first one will be surah Al-Fatiha, surah Taha ayat 1 hingga 5, surah Al-Insyirah, surah Al-Kafirun and then surah Al-Ikhlas by three times. After that followed by selawat ke atas Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Kita ni niatkan selawat kita ni untuk memenuhi perintah Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Kita ni niatkan selawat kita ni untuk memenuhi hak Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Kita ni niatkan selawat kita ni untuk mendapat syafaat Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam di akhirat kelak. Dan kita ni niatkan segala bacaan surah dan selawat kita ni untuk kedua orang tua, keluarga dan seluruh umat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Kemudian Doa sebelum belajar, semoga dengan usaha ini akan membantu pelajar agar mudah memahami dan dibukakan hati para pelajar untuk mencintai ilmu. Okay? A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم طه ما أنزلنا عليك القرآن لتشقى إلا تذكرة لمن يخشى تنزيلا ممن خلق الأرض والسماوات العلا الرحمن على العرش استوى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم نشرح لك صدرك ووضعنا عنك وزرك الذي أنقض ظهرك ورفعنا لك ذكرك فإن مع العسر يسرا إن مع العسر يسرا فإذا فرغت فانصب وإلى ربك فرغب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل يا أيها الكافرون لا أعبد ما تعبدون ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنا عابد ما عبدتم ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد لكم دينكم ولي دين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد 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 
محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل 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 محمد محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد دعاء سبلم بلاجر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم افتح علينا حكمتك وانشر علينا من هزائن رحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين يا الله بكاكنلاه ke atas kami hikmat hikmatmu dan limpahilah ke atas kami khazanah rahmatmu Wahai yang maha permurah lagi maha penyayang. Rabbish rahli ya sadri wa yassir li amri wahlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. Ya Rabku, lapangkanlah untukku dadaku dan mudahkanlah untukku urusanku dan Lepaskanlah kekakuan dari lidahku Supaya mereka mengerti perkataanku Amin Amin, amin, amin Ya Rabbal Alamin In this session, we will discuss about index notation So, can you please get ready with your notes, page 8 And your worksheet, page 7 Learning objectives The first one, explain, read, and write index notation. Index also we call as exponent or power. For a to the power of n, where n is a positive integer. The second one, explain, read, and write index notation for positive integer powers of 10. So, What will be our S2S, steps to success, to achieve our objectives? The first one, identify, best, and index. Again, index also called as power or exponent. And the second one, express ordinary number in terms of index notation. You should be familiar with this index notation. You already learn about this about writing index notation in your previous year 6 so you should familiar with these terms index notation okay and by definition what is actually index notation index notation is actually a way of representing number number we call as constants okay in maths number we call it constants and variable are the alphabet okay Variable are the alphabet. For example, x is a variable, y is variable. Okay? Then, what is actually index notation? Index notation representing number that have been multiplied by themselves a number of times. Okay? So, I repeat myself. Index notation is actually a way of representing number or variable 
that have been multiplied by themselves a number of times. Okay, so when you see number or variable multiplied by themselves a number of times, you can express that value or that variables in terms of index notation. Okay, all right, in general, we'll, we will put n to representing the power. Okay, we put n to represent the power. For example, here we have variable A. So if it is repeated three times, when it is repeated three times, so we call it A to the power of 3. Okay, so if it is repeated by 5 times, A to the power of 5. So N here is representing the power. All right, and how we actually read this? Uh, we read like this, okay? A to the power of n. How are we going to read these terms? A to the power of n, right? And the expressions of index notation. You already know what is n, okay? You already know this one. And what is actually a, okay? So a is the best. And n is, we call it index we call it power we call it exponent all right so this will be the basic part for index notation make sure you know the terms and the notation all right power of 10 is also part of the index notation and it is a unique way of writing large numbers or smaller numbers and here we are interested with a number with lots of zero okay for example we have ten hundred thousand ten thousand hundred thousand one million so we have many zeros right so instead of using so many zeros you can show how many powers of the ten will make that many zeros okay well see this in our next example how we express the number with so many zeros in terms of index notation, okay? Let's start with example 1. Write the following using index form. So, here we have repeated variables. We have uh, repeated values. So, you need to express these repeated variables or repeated values in terms of index form. Okay, I will give you... Answer for part A. Before that, before that, uh, when we say index form, so you, you need to express these repeated variables or repeated values like this. A is the best and N is the power. Number of, uh, number of repeated, okay? Number of the, number of times the numbers of variables repeated itself. That is N. Now, I will give you answer for part A. Here we have P repeated for uh, repeated five times. So your answer, you need to put the best. The best here is P, and how many times the P is repeated itself five times. So here will be the index notation index form. Okay. Now I give you one minute to complete B and C. Right? For B, the answer will be 34 to the power of 2. 
do not solve this value 24 times 24 because the question asks you to express in terms of index form so give your answer in term, in terms of index form and here we have 10 to the power of 5 okay so this one are the index form now we move to example 2 in this example 2 you need to find the missing best okay here are the uh, here are the questions and which part is the best is this one okay now we start with part a what will be the best to the power of 3 that will give you 27 the answer is 3 okay so what will be the best to the power of 5 that will give you 32 the answer is 2 okay so 3 and 2 here are the best okay the best for the index notation now i give you one minute to com to complete all of the other questions Okay, now, so what will be your answer for part C? The answer is 10. Part D, 20. E, 10 to, 10 to the power of 4. F, 1. G, 4. And H is 5. Okay, so we have completed this example too. Remember, the missing part here is the best okay next here will be the example three the last example before we stop put the correct index bracket power on the left hand side to make this equation equal okay in example two you need to find the missing best but here you need to put the correct index power okay so to repeat it many times to get it things like that okay to repeat it uh, to repeat it by how many times to get it the answer is three all right and ten to the power of what to give you this one million all right so i will give you one minute to complete B up to F, okay? And the index is missing this part, right? Okay, now let us discuss the answers. For part B, 10 repeated 6 times. Okay, for part C, 9 repeated 3 times to get 729. For part D, 7 repeated 2 times. For part E, 
100 repeated three times. So 100 to the power of 3 will give that 1 million. Okay. So now here. The interesting part is here in your right hand side, the value is 10. So how many this 10 repeated to get this value? The answer is 1. Okay. So we done with all of the explanation and examples for index notation. Don't forget to complete your notes. Okay. Don't complete to complete your notes and you can start doing your worksheet. All right. And as usual, we will end our session by resetting doa. Thank you so much and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Doa selepas belajar. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma inni astaudi'uka ma'alam tani farduthu ilayya indaha jati ilayhi wala tansani Ya Rabbal Alamin Ya Allah, sesungguhnya aku menitipkan padamu ilmu-ilmu yang telah engkau ajarkan kepadaku dan kembalikanlah kepadaku sewaktu aku memerlukannya kembali dan janganlah engkau lupakan aku kepada ilmu itu wahai Tuhan yang memiliki semesta alam Amin